Good morning. Where is everybody today? Be here now. Anybody would think there's a major sporting event going on somewhere. Welcome. We are blessed to see you. We are thankful that you've taken time out of your Sunday to be present and participate with us in this oneness and allness of divine spirit, grace, and good. My soul feels welcome here today. How about you? Amen. This weekend is our Divine Valentine Language of Love. Happy Valentine's Day weekend. If you are a first-time visitor and guest, we are especially happy to see you. We thank you for being a part of our service today. We'd like to show you our loving appreciation with a hearty applause. <laughs> On the welcome table at the back of the sanctuary, there's a visitor sign-up sheet. We'd like your name and email address so we can arrest you <laughs> with emails. But most importantly, we want to send you a free gift, a booklet, a beautiful spiritual booklet called Soul Survival Guide. So please sign up and let us send you that gift. This is a good time to silence, turn off, or throw away your phone. Before you do that, if you are a Facebook user, please check in. Tell everybody where you are and what a wonderful time you're having. And now, let us take a moment to anoint our consciousness today in the awareness of oneness. Please join me in an opening prayer. Divine Spirit, Uplifted and anointed in your presence, we are thankful and in gratitude for the opportunity today to come into spiritual fellowship and community together, to have some fun while we open our minds and our hearts to your insight and inspiration. Bless us today, we pray, with an understanding that we are your divine valentines. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. And now let's stand together as we sing our congregational joy song. My decision right here and now. Love is my decision. Up to me to stand on that bridge. Love is my decision. can make me forgive and once I decide to change my mind God will show me 
No one else can lighten my load. Once I decide to change my mind, God will show me how. Love is my decision. Take a moment to affirm and anoint the consciousness of our ministry and our community with our values, our vision, and our mission. Together, at Unity Spiritual Center of Vero Beach, we value love, faith, integrity, stewardship, and joy. And our vision is Centered in love, we create a world of harmony, abundance, and gratitude. And our mission is teaching, loving, and inspiring people to be all they are created to be. And now, I'd like to highlight a few upcoming events. So this week, the Perspective Affects Everything workshops continue. Tuesday, February 13th, and next week, the 20th at 6 o'clock. This is a short series by our very own Keith Ebel. Keith is sitting right over there. Raise your hand. So thank you, Keith. If you didn't make the first week last week, you can still join this week. And if you have any questions about the series, you can see Keith after the service. We hope to see all of you this Tuesday at 6 o'clock. Next week is our Strawberry Sunday. Deliciously local sourced greens, dinner rolls, strawberry shortcake, highlight of the meal, and of course cold beverages. Today is the last day to prepay for the lunch. It's $15 in the Zen Den, so please stop by after the service if you haven't made your reservation already so that we know how many people to expect and to prepare properly. If you'd like to volunteer and help with the event, there's a sign-up sheet on our welcome table and also a flyer if you would like more information. On Sunday, March 3rd, we are going to celebrate the life We even have a little music to emphasize celebrating. We are going to celebrate the life of our very own Bill Reeve. So please join Gwen and our beloved community to celebrate his life. Again, it's going to be on March 3rd. It'll be at 4 o'clock right here in the sanctuary. Doors will open at 3.30 for a time of fellowship beforehand. Our Weddings and More team is hosting another wedding expo, and that will be on March 10th. Again, that's a Sunday. It's from 2 to 5 o'clock right here. And please see the events calendar online for information on admission. And again, there's a volunteer sign-up sheet on the welcome table. We need volunteers to help set up on Saturday, March, well, let's see. March 9th. It says 19th. Thank you, March 9th. <laughs> and again, that sign-up sheet is on the welcome table. St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and we're going to have a dinner celebration, so save the date. Again, that's March 16th, the night before, and that dinner begins at 5 o'clock. We're going to have traditional corned beef, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, and we have a $20 prepay for that event. Again, those reservations can be made in the Zenden. And lastly, for today, Cecilia St. King is coming back. She's going to do a concert on Saturday, March 23rd. It's going to be at 7 o'clock right here in the sanctuary. She is an award-winning international recording artist and a charismatic 
inner peace troubadour. So she's going to perform some of her original songs that have very positive spiritual messages. The tickets for that event are going to be $35. So again, mark your calendar. So lots of fun, meaningful, and spiritual events are on the horizon. Now I'd like to invite up to the platform our prayer chaplain for today, Lolita Janke. Good morning, Om, Shalom, Shanti. Thank you for coming, and good morning. My name is Lalita Janke, and I am blessed to be of service as your prayer chaplain today. I would also like to introduce Sheila Ross, who is my prayer chaplain partner. We will begin by recognizing the lighting of the Christ candle and it symbolizes the anointing and blessing of the consciousness of the Christ in and upon us and our service today. A reminder that we have prayerfully blessed our prayer box and prayer requests in the prayer and meditation service at nine o'clock this morning, and that the prayer box is now back in the lobby and available to receive your written prayer requests. And now for the reading of the daily word. The word for today is strength. The affirmation is centered in divine strength. I am confident and peaceful. If I find myself struggling to bear the weight of a heavy load, if I am wondering how much further I can travel or how much longer I can carry on, I rely on my spiritual strength to keep me going. When I align my thoughts with this divine gift and not on the weight I carry or the distance I travel, I am tapping into the power of God expressing as me. Through divine strength, I am renewed and refreshed. I have everything I need to stay the course. Knowing the presence of God comes to me through many channels, I may ask for help and accept it graciously when it comes. I give myself breaks and make time for prayer and my other spiritual practices. Through it all, I remain strong and grateful for God within me. The sacred text for today is Ephesians 6, verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Please repeat the affirmation of today. Centered in divine strength, I am confident and peaceful. Sheila and I will be available in the chapel immediately after the service to support and serve anyone that is in need of prayer. Thank you for coming on this wonderful Sunday. It's a blessing to see you back at the podium doing prayer chaplain duty, yes. <laughs> I knew I'd get a shanti out of you. <laughs> uh, Eddie Watkins Jr., my friend, my apologies, you know. You may have noticed we have a guest musician in the house today, music maestro, Eddie Watkins Jr. Thank you, Eddie. Before Eddie plays his first guest song, I just want to tell you that we had Eddie in the sanctuary doing a concert for us last night. And uh, he invited us to go unity. So there was dancing and singing and clapping. And I am thankful, Eddie, that you've joined us and you brought your energetic experience to our community today. Thank you.
There is a garden where dreams come true. A beautiful garden where God's grace blooms. There is a garden where everything grows. A beautiful garden where love is sown. And in this place of light and love, you can have anything that you're dreaming of. There is a garden where dreams come true. A beautiful garden, that garden is you. And in this place of light and love, you can have anything that you're dreaming of. There is a garden where dreams come true. Beautiful garden, that garden is you. Such a beautiful garden, that garden is you. Let us come together now into a time of quiet reflection and meditation. Take a moment to relax your body, becoming aware of your breath, And with each inhale and exhale, release and relax. Invite your mind to become quiet and your heart to become calm. feeling a oneness of being. And when you're ready, drop your awareness into your heart space, recognizing the heart space as the sanctuary and the temple of your being. And be there with gratitude. Allow the feeling of gratitude to uplift you. Invite your heart to sing a song of gratitude 
celebrating this profound truth that wherever we are, God is. And we are this garden of divine seeding and growing and fruiting and flowering and harvest. How wonderful that idea. How empowering that thought. How healing that feeling of knowing. Our oneness and allness in God. Today we open our minds and our hearts to a deeper understanding and realization that we are God's divine valentine. God loves us, and God is pursuing a more intimate relationship with each and all of us. And today we open our minds and our hearts to that desire, and we resolve to receive it. And so now together, let us sit in quiet contemplation of that truth for a few minutes. Returning awareness to your heart space. And again, the feeling of gratitude. The gratitude of receiving the realization of this truth today. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen.
expression of your unfolding peace shows spirit so through me as I open up to thee an expression of your unfolding love flow spirit flow through me as I open up to thee an expression of your unfolding peace show spirit show through me as I open up to thee an expression of your unfolding Every hand has shape, every embrace, every thought I think, oh yeah, spirit flow through me, every word I say, every night and day, I want to be an expression of your unfolding love. flow through me as I open up to thee an expression of your unfolding peace show spirit show through me as I open up to be an expression of your unfolding Love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Eddie. You're a hard act to follow, man. I'll do it together. Let's give both Eddie and Laura another round of applause for blessing us with their wonderful gifts today. You know, I'm always reminded of how important music is to our spiritual experience. I think it was Einstein that said there's no true spirituality without the experience of music. So here we are, Divine Valentine, what on earth is that all about? And I've realized I'm having one of those days again where I need to get on God's schedule or God needs to get on my schedule. I guess it's going to have to be the former. We had a very busy week this week getting ready for our Language of Love retreat 
and our sincere heartfelt gratitude for the prosperous demonstration of people showing up for that retreat yesterday. Wow, you know, it's always a good thing when you have to go find more chairs or print more booklets or people that aren't part of our community in general just show up and say, hey, we heard about this, we read about this, we want to participate. Thank you, God. Let's give our community a round of applause. <laughs> and of course. A special mention to Christy for all her hard work, and of course, Cindy and Lisa for helping with hospitality, and Patty for just being Patty. <laughs> Eddie, thank you for being here. Having you here today makes it a really a Super Bowl Sunday for me. <laughs> and we hope to see a lot more of you, right? Don't tell us where you live. We'll come and get you. <laughs> St. Valentine's Day. We have a very unique week this year in that Valentine's Day falls on Ash Wednesday. Whoa! What is that all about? Valentine's Day is named after who? Wow. You guys, man. St. Valentine. In fact, we're not sure which one because there were two St. Valentinus. And it was only in the age of Geoffrey Chaucer that this Valentine idea became a romantic thing. And then, of course, our beloved Americans got hold of it and it became this huge commercial experience you know now it's when you go to the supermarket these days it's it's kind of like you're going from one christmas and thanksgiving christmas valentine's it's just the easter it's, you know it's like blow my mind explode my brain and then there's there's those days where they haven't quite taken down the one and they've already started with the other one and you're like it's too much it's too much for a simple guy from Africa. I remember my first experience in an American supermarket looking for bread. What? In South Africa, you got like four choices. Is Glenn here today? Glenn's not here today. Lee, remember? What? Yeah. I walked the, the first supermarket experience I had looking for bread in America. I was like that wandering lost soul in the wilderness. It's too many choices. So Valentine has become this romantic commercial experience. And thank you for that. This is an opportunity for us to show how love and affection for each other by buying each other stuff. <laughs> All right? And we've got to buy more stuff because we've got all these storage units to fill. <laughs> Remember? And storage is now one of the fastest growing commercial industries in the United States of America. I don't understand any of it. But today we're going to focus on the spirituality of being a divine valentine. And yesterday we took some time, well, we took a lot of time. We started at 9 and we finished at 4.15. But we spoke about the language of love. And how is it that we can give and receive love in a way that everybody and all understands? We realize as human beings we have modalities that control the way we experience the world ourselves and each other. And being shown love in one way isn't maybe the way we are expecting to receive it. And so love has languages. And figuring out what your language is and what the language of your sacred partner is 
or your sacred relationship or relationships makes it easier to give and receive love with more intimacy, integrity, and authenticity. Do those words ring a bell? What's the bell that those words are ringing? That's our spiritual theme for 2024, people. <coughs> Remember, we are going to wake up, we're going to grow up, we're going to clean up, and we're going to show up in 2024. So that we can, so we can experience God and each other with more intimacy, integrity, and authenticity. Thank you, God for giving us that insight and inspiration for this year. <clears throat> and so one of the things that they used to practice in the old days when they observed the day of Valentine was for lovers to give each other keys. Yes? The exchanging of keys. And what do you think is the symbolism of the exchanging of keys? The key would be the key to somebody's? Yes, man, the key to somebody's heart. And how intimate is that to give somebody the key to your heart? The key to your heart. To me, that symbolizes a declaration that I am willing to live with complete vulnerability in this relationship. Here is a key. Open me wide. Bless you. Gesundheit. Open me wide. Let me live with complete open-heartedness and vulnerability in this relationship with you. And in that invitation, I expect you to reciprocate with me. Together, let us cooperate and collaborate to explore intimacy, integrity, and authenticity together. Do you know that God has given us a key to God's heart? Do you remember the scripture in the Christian scriptures, the New Testament of the Bible? I've given you the keys to the kingdom. What you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. What you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We are the divine valentine. God is in love with us. And God is wooing us. God is courting us. God wants to have a relationship with each and every one of us individually and with us as a collective community. And God wants that relationship to have more intimacy, more integrity, and help me with this, more authenticity. And our part is to respond to that call to be God's divine valentine and to wake up, grow up, Clean up and show up. Yeah? Amen. Wonderful. The reason I have to get onto God's schedule, I think, is because God keeps waking me up at 4 o'clock in the morning. And it's usually on 4 o'clock on a Sunday morning saying, Hey, buddy, all that work you did this week on today's lesson? Nah. Here it is. This is what we are going to talk about today. <clears throat> and then when I'm driving over to the center, God goes, oh, and by the way, <laughs> and then as I get up and make that long walk to the podium, God goes, okay, so here's a few tweaks to what we talked about this morning. But the blessing for me in that is that God is alive and well in my heart. And God's Spirit is talking to me. And God's Spirit is talking to you. And God is reminding me that when I sit down to do my lesson on Tuesday, you're not there. 
but you are here now. And we have created this whole new thing together called the consciousness of this moment. And as God is talking to me and talking to you, he's talking to us. And so, yes, the message changes. And sometimes I have to go home and watch the video to find out what on earth that was all about. Christ is our key. Christ is the key to the kingdom of God given fully and freely to each one of us. It is the anointing that we are God's divine valentine. It is a down payment from God to us, promising and prophesying that God has given us the fullness of divine grace and good in the Christ, our true treasure. Not something we have to go put in a storage unit after we've lost interest or use in it. Eternal, immortal, divine Christ. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. So, who's celebrating Valentine's Day this Wednesday? Yes? You want to come to church on Wednesday or you want to go down to Outback? <laughs> what are our two choices? Outback and Bonefish, is that it? Vera is a happening place, man. Christy and I used to like to go to... Um, where did we used to like to go to? <laughs> the place down on the beach, Mulligan's? Mulligan's? The foods. But the venue and the music. That's nice. Venue and music, nice. And then somebody said to us, do you go to Mulligan's? We're like, and we were like, no. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Ash Wednesday. Traditionally, Valentine signals the same thing as Ash Wednesday, the beginning of the season of Lent. And what do we celebrate on the season of Lent? We celebrate the resurrection, the 40 days of Lent, ending and concluding in the resurrection of the awareness of the Christ again within us. The crucifixion and then the resurrection. And so this Wednesday, I want to invite you, if you are available and in need, to come to the sanctuary at 12 o'clock, noon, to use one of these side doors, because our, the school is running from 8 to 3. And I will be holding an Ash Wednesday prayer anointing service. Because in unity, the metaphysical understanding of ash is repentance. And the metaphysical understanding of repentance is forgiveness and release. And who doesn't need some forgiveness and release to turn away from those things which no longer serve us and turn towards those things which do? Yes? Noon... Wednesday, Ash Wednesday, in the sanctuary, use the side doors, you can park in the parking lot, and you can simply walk around here through the labyrinth. We won't disturb the school. And guess what? I have some ashes for you. And we're going to do a unity, metaphysical, mystical ashing on Ash Wednesday. And guess where those ashes come from? The burning bowl we did on New Year's Eve. When we wrote our letters of releasing, of repentance, of forgiveness, and we committed that intention to the flame, I went and I gathered those ashes for us. And I have them. And we're going to use those ashes Wednesday at noon for an Ash Wednesday ashing. A re-repentance, a re-forgiveness, a re-releasing of our New Year's Eve burning bowl service.
Come in your own time. I'll be here from noon to 1, 1 1.30, however long it takes. It'll be an individual prayer, anointing and ashing. And then we'll send you on your day, on your way to Valentine's Day to keep our economy going (laughs) and to tell each other how much we love one another through simple human indications of gifts and words of affirmation (coughs) and acts of kindness and acts of service. Thank you for today. Happy Valentine's Day. Be remembered that you are the divine Valentine. God loves you. God is courting you. God is pursuing you. God is wanting you to come into a relationship of greater intimacy, integrity, and authenticity. And our part is to respond with thank you, God, and to do the work of Waking up, growing up, cleaning up, and showing up. And then we will never be disappointed with the results we're not getting from the work we're not doing. Thank you, God, and so it is. Amen. sure because I was, I've had people who come up and say, why are you saying all you need is a mitt? <laughs> I've had someone ask me, who is a net? <laughs> all I need is a mitt. 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 That's it. Oh, Sometimes I forget that all my needs are met. And now and then, well, ask him for I fall song. asleep Thinking things I don't believe Until I wake up in gratefulness Counting all the ways I'm blessed oh, That all my needs are met There were times I recall when I couldn't see the light of day, but somehow sweet spirit made a way out of no way. And that is why I testify, no matter how dark it gets, oh, that all our needs are met. I could not have come this far without the everlasting arms. My shelter from the cold. I'm so grateful that I know because there were times when my thought I couldn't make it through another day. But somehow, sweet spirit, made a way out of no way i saw the light i testify no matter how dark it gets no matter how dark it gets don't you know that all all our needs all our needs are made
Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Eddie and Reverend Clive for reminding us that all our needs are met by our divine Valentine, right? Blessed oneness. So we've now come to the time of receiving our tithes and our love offerings. And as you know, in your bulletins and on the slides, there's reminders of all the different ways that you can give. And today, I invite you, as I do every week, to take a moment to dedicate your gift. Because when we bring more intention to our gifts, those intentions are just amplified and our gifts are amplified. So today, I invite you to dedicate your gift to your relationship with your divine Valentine and the ways that we're gonna live that out this year, as Reverend Clive reminded us. And so as you hold your tithes and your love offerings in your hands, let us together say our love offering blessing. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you, God. And so now as our ushers, Kathleen and Patty, come forward to receive your tithes and your love offerings, we're wondering, Eddie, if you might have another musical gift to share. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I, I, I do, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of love. This is a very important song, especially during election year. Just before you say something you can't take away, take a breath and let it out. Try to think about what would love do now. Wondering if you should Cross that line for good. Whatever you decide, ask yourself from inside, what would love do now? Everything is either an act of love or a cry for love. That's why for love, we try for love. In the end, that's all we know that's real. Whether right or wrong, doesn't matter just as long. As you let your heart decide, ask yourself from inside, what would love do now? Sing it with me, y'all. What would love do now? What would, before you cross that line for good, saying? Before you beat up on yourself, saying? Before you say something you can't take away, saying? And look in the mirror and say, what would love Thank you. You know, there's nothing in the bylaws that says we have to finish at 12. Let's take a moment to bless our offering together.
Divine Spirit, open-hearted and handed, we receive these gifts in gratitude, anointing them in your presence and power to empower this ministry to live its values, its vision, and its mission and be a blessing to one and to all. Thank you, God. And so it is. Amen. As we come to the back end of our service, just a few minister reminders. The prayer box is back in the Welcome Center for your written prayer requests. We send those to our prayer ministry and also to Silent Unity for prayer service. If you are a guest or visitor, once again, please sign our register. We'd love to send you that booklet. We have a prayer chaplain's meeting today at 11.30 in the chapel. Looking forward to catching up with our chaplains and supporting them in their ministry and service. Eddie has a merchandise. Is it merch or merchandise? We have both. I have both of them, merchandise and merch. Merch <laughs> and merchandise table next to our welcome center. We would love to bless Eddie with prosperity. Please make sure that table is empty, <laughs> that he has nothing to carry out of here besides decorations to his car as a sign of our deep and sincere appreciation for the blessing of his gifts today. Yes? Okay. Uh, Strawberry Festival again. Let's make this a wonderful demonstration like we do every year. I don't know if you know this, but the Strawberry Festival is my anniversary day. The very first service that I had with, we had together was Strawberry Festival 2022. That, remember those days when you thought, hey, we like this guy. <laughs> this might work. Well, we're two years into that, and now we're like, ah, okay. <laughs> we're working on it. We think we can still make this work. Join us on Strawberry Festival Day. It's a really special day for Christy and myself. It reminds us we've been together for two years now. What? Where did that time go? We're all getting younger. Weddings and more, let's support Bob and Susan and Tammy and now, Bob, who else has joined your team? Jacqueline. Jacqueline. I was saying to Bob earlier, just give, leave some volunteers for the rest of the ministry. You know? <laughs> let's uh, support our weddings and more, connect with Bob and the welcome table, find out what they're doing. Ash Wednesday, it'll take a few minutes, pop in, we're going to pray together. We're going to ash each other and we're going to re-empower this releasing of what no longer serves our highest good. Thank you. Let's stand for our peace song and our prayer for protection. Thank you. I'm hearing voices again. <laughs> Thanks, Patty. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be. With God as creator, family all are we. Let us talk with each other in perfect harmony. Let peace begin with me. Let this be the moment now. With every step I take, let this be my joyous vow. To take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Our 
divine valentine prayer for protection the light of god surrounds us the love of god enfolds us the power of god protects us the presence of god watches over us wherever we are god is and all is well thank you god amen shanti <laughs>